Hello people, this is Dennis John Seatsma, Dennis John Seatsma Productions. Uh, today is October 2nd, 2022, and this video log is about uh, changing your oil on your Mercruiser stern drive. And uh, I bought this uh, Quicksilver Marine Parts and Accessories oil drain pump, part number eight zero two eight eight nine er Quebec one that's eight zero two eight eight nine er Quebec one several years ago and uh, found it is not compatible with my 3.7 uh, marine engine uh, Merc cruiser uh, because this had an opening hole of five eighths of an inch for the drain tube and even though this pump says it fits all mercury, etc., etc., ba da 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 da, with threaded, yeah, not true. Whoever did the engineering have put a smaller. This is not five eighths of an inch, people, and it will not work on the 3.7 unless you modify it. Now to modify it, I had to figure out what is the delta between what they sold me and what I have. Because I bought this way back in 1989, and it's it's wore out and cracking and failing. Um, and an alternative to doing it this way, of course, is go online and buy one of these oil pump extractors and do it that way, which you can. This is electric pump for diesel, you know, this is for all all engines. And uh, you can do it that way, but I'm kind of old school, so I like this system. It works fine, uh, as long as it's not wore out, like this one's worn out and needs replacement. So I measured this using a drill bit that's 5 eighths inch, and then I double checked it because even though I have these da da gauges, <coughs> excuse me, I have gauges that tell me the there's tap size, there's drill size, it can be confusing. So I use a drill bit to validate that this hole is five eighths of an inch. And then I check the diameter at the shank there to make sure it's five eighths. So five eighths is five eighths is five eighths. The problem is I hope that this is a soft soft enough to, that I can drill it should be some kind of drillable but I have to have sizes from whatever size this is which I didn't measure that um, you can buy one and measure it yourself but it says it's brass barrel <coughs> so I assume the rest of this is brass and I should be able to drill brass but I need drill bits from whatever size this is up to 5 eighths in increments so because this is pretty thick diameter material so whatever mechanical engineer spec this out as an exact replacement for what old product they had apparently didn't do any gold standard testing gold standard engineering testing yay that's what they used to tell me. It's been through our gold standard engineering process. And the frickin' thing don't fit or work. So, a little field testing would help, fellas. Leave the lab long enough to go in the field and do try this, this wonderful product on several marine engines before you say it fits all. Anyway, that's my spiel. Uh, for now, I'm going to drill this out and then we'll get on to the next video. And it's raining outside, so today's a good day for a rainy day project. And later we'll talk about turkey basters and how they're used around the shop uh, to do troubleshooting and different things with a turkey baster on your fuel delivery system. Yay! If you can't suck fuel out of your fuel system with a turkey baster, Guess what? You got a problem with the fuel delivery system. Yay. All right.
I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. People, I'm trying to drill this thing out to 5 eighths inch. And, of course, an alternative would be to take the one off the old one and move it to the new one. And I hope I haven't damaged the new one because it came apart while I was drilling it. But, uh, I'm trying to do this. And, uh, of course, to move from the old one to the new one, you'd have to have an old one. And I assume a lot of people in the viewing audience don't have an old one. So you'd have to drill it. So I'm going to put some vice grips on here and try to continue to drill this and hopefully don't destroy it. So that's what I got so far. It's October 2nd. October 2nd, 2022. Dennis John Seatsma Productions. People, this is a video log. This is not a how-to. Now, I've discovered I cannot drill this out 5 eighths without ruining the part. So, can't do that. This video log, do-it-yourself projects can result in injury or death. So, do at your own risk. Any do-it-yourself projects can result in injury or death. So do it at your own risk. This is a video log, not a how-to. So I show you my mistakes. So I'm going to have to use the old part to go in the new one, and hopefully this rubber will be compatible. But before I say that or do that, I'm going to take this out and see if that will work when it's not raining, with it being drilled out just a little bit bigger. Maybe I don't need to go all the way to 5 eighths with it. I don't know why Mercruiser did this without any testing on the 3.7 liter. Is they made large numbers. I don't know the exact number, but it was a very large number of these four-cylinder aluminum block engines with steel head that used uh, Ford Ford truck motor pistons and rods and uh, head and marinized them and used them in a marine engine and it's a good engine if it's done well uh, can be a gem if done right and it can be the engine from hell if people work on it in ignorance of the service they don't study the service stuff the service bulletins and service manual that I harp on all the time so I'll have to finish this video later because it's raining outside. I hope you enjoy my video. Thanks for watching.